First of all, welcome to Hanover. Since you're probably here just for a day or two as it's not one of the most visited places here in Germany, you're probably gonna do the standard things for one or two days. But there are a few unusual things that you should know or maybe that you wanna see while you're here. So let's check them out. So one of the coolest, most historical and unique things to do in Hanover is right behind me here for free at the Gottfried Leibniz Library. And that is to see the first calculator ever that can do all four mathematical operations. It was designed by Gottfried Leibniz between 1672 and 1694, and it's on display here for free to see. While it's something most people might not even think of seeing one in Hanover, you can pop into the library, walk up the stairs, and you'll see it right there. It doesn't take long, but it's kind of a cool thing to see, especially if you're right in the center, as it's not far from the new town hall. But if you don't happen to be visiting Hanover on your travels to Germany, you can always see a replica of it in Munich at the Deutsches Museum. So one of the other really strange things here in Hanover actually sits right in the center behind me here on the Mark Kirsche, and that is a pentagram. Now a pentagram typically has satanic associations with it, and it's especially demonic when it's upside down, which makes it really strange that it sits on top of the main church here in Hanover. Now there are a few theories as to why there's an upside down pentagram on top of the main church tower here. And one of those theories is just that it's actually not satanic or demonic at all. It's actually an old symbol that was originally used and connected to epiphany in the Christian religion. Others say the five points actually represent the five crucified wounds on Jesus Christ. And a third theory is that it's actually located up there to scare away spirits that might be traveling in the wind towards Hanover so they go around the city and continue moving on to somewhere else. So while it might not be satanic or demonic at all, it is kind of a noteworthy thing that definitely sticks out and strikes us as unusual here in Hanover because the upside down pentagram is located right on the church. Another really unusual thing in Hanover here is that this excellent craft beer bar right behind me was actually the old Hitler Youth Center. And you can still see some of the writing right up here. And it sits right in the center in the Ballhof plots, not far from the Mark here. Show. So just an interesting note of history and a piece of Hanover and Germany history that still kind of lives on today. But the fact that they still have remembrances and things about the time of the Nazis here show that they're not forgetting that history and they're remembering it so they won't repeat it. One of the more interesting and unusual things about Hanover is actually right behind me, and that is a bus stop. And it might sound funny, but in 1994, Hanover actually commissioned a bunch of art bus stops because they wanted passengers to not see the waiting time as lost time, but rather that they were waiting a short time in a special place. So if you kind of change your frame of reference, they're pretty cool to see. While you still might not like waiting for the bus, especially if it's late, you can wait in some of these cool bus stops like this one right behind me here. Without a doubt, one of the most creepy parts of Hanover's history and one of the most unusual things here is the Vampire of Hanover. Yes, you heard that right, the Vampire of Hanover or the Wolfman or the Butcher of Hanover. Those were all the nicknames of Fritz Harman. Between 1918 and 1924 in Hanover, he killed 24 young boys and men between the ages of 10 and 22. And he got the name the Vampire of Hanover because he would actually bite through the throats of his victims. One incredibly sickening and just bone chilling part of this is after his first murder, police actually searched his apartment, but they didn't find anything. And even though he was arrested on other crimes, they didn't find the head of that victim that was hidden behind his stove. Fritz Harman would take his victims, dismember them and dispose of them in the Lina River that runs right through the middle of Hanover. And his last victim was even tossed in the lake right by the Herrenhauser Garden. One really interesting theory that people still believe about the vampire of Hanover is that he actually sold the human meat as ground pork on the black market. Now, while there isn't evidence to back this up, it's still creepy to think about that people might have actually been eating that while they had no idea. Luckily, Fritz Harman was eventually arrested, found guilty, and sentenced to death by guillotine in 1925. While you won't see anything about the vampire of Hanover walking around the city today, there is a memorial to all 24 of his victims out at a cemetery here in Hanover. It's quite a ways away from the center, but it's something to see if you want to see a little bit of unusual history here in Hanover, Germany. So last up on this unusual things to do in Hanover list is the Hanover Tier Garden, which is an 18th century park that's 112 hectare acres large. And you can see a ton of wild animals, including these deer that you can spot behind me right here.
There are also wild boars, rabbits, birds, just a ton of things. Now it is quite a bit outside of the city center, so you're gonna have to bike out here or take public transit, but it's an unusual thing to see and it's definitely worth coming to. But that's gonna do it for this list of unusual things to see in Hanover, Germany. So make sure to check out our other videos about Hanover as well as life in Germany right here, and we'll see you over at those videos. Bye.